what I want to do now is bring on another one of my favorites. I got some many favorites. <laughs> I want to bring on my friend Jan Tetsutani, who is from uh, all the way from Hawaii. And so, Jan, there you are, my friend. What is it like three o'clock in the morning over there? No, it's, it's, no it, it's like 5 15. <laughs> oh my God. God bless your heart. I tell you what. <laughs> You should tell us, you like, listen, I'll do one of these, but only an evening version. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. Jan and I are involved in a conference that her, uh, is it your church is putting on? This? No, it's actually several churches. Okay. Several churches are putting on, but um, we did a conference call, all the speakers the other day. And wasn't it like this early, like four o'clock in the morning or something? It was. sure was. <laughs> and I was like, both you and the pastor, y'all were like both looking so wonderful and bright eyed and bushy tail. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So anyway, well, just by way of introduction, if you if you've not met Jan before, uh, Jan Tetsutani has been in the member in the mentoring program for quite a while now. She was actually the winner of our Creative to Thrive Spokesperson of the Year Award last year, which if you don't know, that's a thing that we do inside the mentoring program where people apply, um, they win a $5,000 uh, cash gift, they get some other benefits that are incredible, but it's the it's a video application that we put out uh, to people and they have to tell their story and talk about the transformation. And of all the people in the mentoring program, uh, Jan was the one that was selected at our Thriving Christian Artist Conference. And so Jan, what a story. Uh, you've got, it's been a, a rocket ship, hasn't it? I mean, it's just been incredible. God has amazed me time and time again. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you tell everybody just kind of who you are, what you do creatively, and um, let's roll back the tape. When, did you did you come in the mentoring program first and then got into the experience course, or how did that work? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. I believe so. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so introduce yourself. I, I started too soon, so. No, no, it's okay. So aloha, everyone. It's yeah. great to see you. Good morning. Um, so as Matt said, I'm from Oahu, Hawaii, and I'm a painter, artist, um, instructor, and muralist. And um, just recently, I started going virtually online doing that as well. So we, I think we've all kind of a done some little pivots and changes yeah, recently. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I just to give you a little background on my story is um, I actually thought the dream of becoming an artist was dead, but the father was telling me, no child, it's not dead. It's just dormant and you need to nurture it. And I had no clue what I was doing, um, but God was kind of opening doors when I stepped out to do my art. And I started probably doing it uh, as a business in 2014. So I wasn't doing it very long, but just, feeling like I need a community of artists that, you know, are believers that we can connect in the Lord and encourage mm -hmm. one another. And that's when I met Matt and did the creative um, course. And it just was a game changer in my life. That is so awesome. So talk about, you know, some of the things that have happened since you've been in the program, because I think a lot of times when people think, okay, I've done the course. I mean, what, what else is the mentoring program going to, going to do for me? What would you say is kind of the, the differences and, and the kind of the game changer for you because your experience has just been absolutely incredible in what God's done. Well, I would say um, uh, this has been probably my, I think I, was, I joined the group in 2017. So it's been about three years now Yeah, and so much has happened. And I would say the, you know, big thing is just being in community and hearing Matt's teachings um and what i really appreciate about it is the partnership with the holy spirit and that's just really really encouraged um also with um the community oh my gosh the community is amazing even though um at that time when we first started we didn't meet each other in person there's just a bond that's there and when we had our mass uh mastermind calls that was huge when the holy spirit is working and you're able to share what you're struggling with or even celebrate, right? Because I think a lot of times we don't celebrate even the small things that are really big things to yeah. celebrate. And just having that community to say, you know, praise God, you know, he is working. And that that is exciting when you feel like, really, you know, little me, you know, God can partner, wants to partner with me. And it's just, it's, I, I'm so humbled and amazed. And that I'm just so thankful for this community. 
Absolutely. I, my thoughts were, were going back to that first mastermind intensive weekend that we did here in Asheville and you flew all the way from Hawaii to come. And I, I don't even know that there was a hundred of us. I think that there was maybe 85 or so in that yes. we were in the basement of the center for craft creativity and design here in Asheville, really cool building. But that was such a special time. Wasn't it? I mean, I, that was one of the, I think that was the first time that we had ever gotten together as a mentoring program community. And like you said, it was like, and this happens now every year. So we, I mean, we had over 500 this last time, but it was like, everybody automatically came together and it was like, we knew each other. We did know each other. I mean, yes. people were hugging. I couldn't believe you brought those. I remember you brought those flower lays and uh, candy for Hawaii. <laughs> 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 But isn't that amazing? I mean, the, the online connections that happen, I, I think for me, and I, I was kind of the last one to the party, I guess, I had to really be convinced that you could really develop powerful relationships online and they would be as powerful or even more as you do in person. And that's absolutely the case. I mean, it's really kind of an amazing phenomenon. It sure is. It sure is. And I still remember even at that mastermind that the Lord gave us a vision in our little group there uh, of a slingshot and how some of us were feeling like, oh, I feel like I'm, I'm actually falling behind. But the Lord was saying, no, I'm, you're not falling behind. I'm pulling you back to propel you guys forward. Yeah. And there were several of us that had that same uh, picture. And that was three years ago. And just seeing where people are now and what God is doing. It was it was true about the slingshot. Now, talk about just some of the practical things for you in that slingshot, because I know I, I would totally agree. So many people came to that and it's happened now every time we get together. It's like God does something supernatural on those weekends. Um, I don't know what it is. I can't I can't bottle it and, uh, <laughs> and promise it anybody. But but the Lord, I mean, he does it. And uh, where was your business when you came to that? Uh, because that was one that was beginning of your journey and then where is your business now as far as what's happening and that sort of thing just so people can see some of the the practical things that, that you've changed yes so i think in 2017 i just um started going full-time with my business and that was a little scary but i felt like the lord said to step out i was doing i was working at the church part-time and the lord was saying uh, go to a place where I will show you. And yeah. it's so he even called me to resign without even knowing what really what my next step was. So it was a you're it was scary. wealthy, right? So that wasn't scary at all, right? You're oh, no. Wealthy. You got plenty of money. <laughs> you know. well, well, praise God, we had an emergency <laughs> fund. <laughs> but, but it did literally come to that point where he was actually trying to break off striving wow. in my life where I wouldn't depend on what was in my bank account, but on him. On. And so during that time, it was like he, he was just saying, trust me, I'm your provider. I'm your good father that's going to take care of you like no one else. And so um, just on this journey, I mean, uh, so after that, uh, God just opened all of these doors where I got invited to Japan. I got to do this mural. All of these things, which I felt like I, I have no idea. I've, I've never walked this road before, but we have such a good father and such a good shepherd That's and right. such a great community to know that I wasn't walking through it alone, that my father, heavenly father was holding my hand every step of the way. And while I was terrified, he's saying, come on, let's have fun. This is fun. You, you know, <laughs> enjoy this. And so, um, so it's, it's, um, it's definitely been a journey and I've learned so much. And I guess fast forwarding, fast forwarding to today, um, even, even it doesn't mean that everything is going to be great, but, but there's, there's going to be hard times yeah. where we have to press into the Lord last year. Uh, the doctor suspected I had this, um, parasite in my body, yeah, the uh, lung, a uh, rat lung worm parasite, which attacks your brain and your spine. And they said, there's no cure for it. But I was just hanging on to the promises of God that by his stripes, I'm healed. That's right. And that took like about four months for me to actually come out of there. But I was fine because I knew that the Lord was with me and the Lord was fighting my battle for me. And the, the amazing thing when I look now, uh, when this pandemic had hit, during that time, I couldn't do a thing. I just literally was flat on my back. I was in constant pain. And the Lord... Um, 
said, or led me to these divine appointments to learn about how to make an online course right. and going live. And that was the only thing I could do. I just watched these videos on the computer, right? <laughs> and who would have known a year later that this pandemic would have happened? But something? I believe that the Lord used that to prepare me for such a time as this to, to have my course, to make be able to make a pivot during this time from in-person workshops, selling my work in person to going online and then to actually be a blessing to others during this pandemic, instead of saying, I'm a person of lack, I need to hunker down, you know, you know, woe is me, but using really seeing this as an opportunity instead right. to help others to know that God loves them and to, love to know that our Heavenly Father is a he's he has a generous heart and he he they're not alone during this time. So I'll after that pandemic had happened, I remember you, you Matt, we kind of rallied together to say, we need to do something. We need to pray about it. And like, Lord, what can we do to help people? What do we have in, my ha in our hands? So doing the, having these art workshops in my hand, I said, well, I'm going to start offering these for free. And yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I've never been on Facebook Live. So, I'll, you know, it was like a whole learning curve. But, <laughs> you know, that, it's not about being perfect perfect but just going right just get so, it done just get it just done, get it done. So, let's go. so so i did that and the lord did some amazing things during that time oh. where nurses people that were alone who said i don't have family I don't have friends that i really it really helped me to get through this pandemic and um even um the state reached out to me to say can we show these workshops to the foster children who are separated from their families now and um, someone reached out to me from Thailand saying, um, we have, you know, at our orphanage, could we sh share yeah. your uh, workshops there? And we're going to hire someone that translates it in Thai. Wow. And, um, you know, you don't realize when you offer something to, to God, how he can just bless it and use Multiple. it to touch so many other people. And just hearing, like, just people constantly saying, like, how this one woman recently said that she she's in constant pain every day. But when she started doing the art, she noticed that the pain started leaving. Right. And so just things like that, that um, we never know what God can do. But when we take that step of faith and That's we right. trust in him, he can bless it and increase it. Yeah. And I, I, I just love that because it's, to me, it's this avalanche, it's this snowball of confidence and calling and focus that starts to happen. And I think as much as we all want to try to do that ourselves and, and, and that sort of thing, it's so much easier and it happens so much faster in the context of a community of people that are walking the same way. Because I've learned and you've learned this. It's like, you know, we just did a whole thing in the mentoring program this year on building online courses, on developing your landing page, building your list, all that sort of thing. You can go out there and try to figure all that out yourself or you can walk with somebody that's doing it, you know, already done it, lays it out for you. And I mean, hello, that's like, it's, it's kind of a no brainer. So I, I love that. And I love that about your story is that the, although you're in the driver's seat with the Lord and, and doing this thing, it's the community also that's, that's fueling and, and energizing you. So Jane, I know people are loving your story. I'm watching the comments and they're just like, I love this. This is great. <laughs> what, what would you say to somebody out there who again is maybe on the fence and I think the Lord may be doing something today because you and Bobby both talked about being in a place of like on your back, like just, you know, uh, taken out because of health or maybe somebody's dealing with depression or mm -hmm. financial lack or something like that. What I mean, what would you say to somebody that's in that kind of situation, but knows that they, I mean, they feel the tug toward, toward this next step. I would say, I just want to encourage you something that carried me through that time that, um, I was flat on my back and sometimes it was kind of like, am I going to be able to paint? Yeah. Am I going to be able to do what I did before? But you know what I held on to was God is faithful to complete the good work that he started in you. Yeah. And yeah. the things that he birthed in you, he's going to bring it to fruition. And it's not something that we have to force and make it happen, but he will bring it to happen. He is the promise keeper and he's the one that will bring the promise to fruition. So sometimes we might feel we're in the middle of the promise, but he's the one that's going to bring it to the end. That is so good. That's so good. Well, Jan, I know folks are going to want to check out what you're doing artistically and all that. Check out your online course that you got now. So where's the best place for them to connect with you? They can connect with me on Instagram or Facebook at Jan Tetsutani Art. I know that's a handful. 
Jan Tetsutani Art. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Jan, thanks so much for being on and just being who you are. It's, it's great to walk the journey with you. So, Well, thank you so much, Matt. Great to see everyone. Thanks All for right. being on. See you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.